What up, what up, what up? Welcome back what up? to Unfiltered Idiots, you little idiots. What's up, Wes? How are you doing today? Good. How you doing, man? What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Unfiltered Idiots. Uh, this is my boy, Kenny. My name yes. is Wes, a.k.a. Metro. You guys know who we are by now. You know who we are. We out here, we running shit. We, <laughs> we are, here, we are. We out here making shit happen. <laughs> I know, and you know what, though? Like, I really have to start with um i am really triggering the right right now on our youtube channel which is okay it's okay i'm just spreading lean love. into it lean into it <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just spreading love and peace and harmony and they just don't like it i'm sorry they don't like okay. to hear the the truth they, the oh, truth yeah, will set truth. you free it's the it's the they 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 remember you know how like the right always does that they want to do this. They want to. Who's yeah. they, bro? Oh, <laughs> oh, you know what? Now that I just said that, my friend Ryan, Ryan, he's a big time Republican. And I don't even remember talking about this on the last show. Um, but I, I guess I did talk about the they, they. And he sent me a text because he um, watches the podcast and listens to the podcast. But uh, I'm serious, though. Like, why do they always say they? Who's they? I just, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm off my soapbox. Anyways. Um, today, <laughs> we're going to talk about, um, I, I, I'm hoping that everyone had the opportunity to stay awake during the longest RNC, DNC speech in American history. And I want to start off by saying, it started off well. I was proud of him. I was very, very proud of the way that he started things off, and then about 15 minutes into the speech, he went off the rails. <laughs> he went. Oh, man. I was like, <laughs> oh, no, here we go, because it started, like, he started talking about the uh, Nancy Pelosi, the crooked Nancy Pelosi. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, and then he's like, I'm not going to mention his name anymore, and he just kept saying it. I'm like, oh, here we go. So it was yeah. literally, it was literally the Trump's Trump's greatest hits, and you know, it was he, sad. It was like train meet rails, rails. <laughs> but okay, so let me just tell you this, class. Now because he, he it was like, was, yeah, it was like I was like, oh damn, dude, I wasn't ready. I thought you were gonna be presidential for a second, but I guess yeah. not. But it was funny though because after after the speech, I said to myself, it was so bad of a speech that Biden is going to get a little wind in his sails. And that's exactly what he did, dude. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh. Looking like look like, like Leo DeCap. Yeah. I'm, man. A, I'm on a boat, motherfuckers. Oh, <laughs> man. So it gave, it gave, because Biden immediately today has been just uh, hitting us with every email, every whatever about, oh, yeah. I'm just like, oh, God, this is not going to, this is never going to end yeah. because it, the speech was like the opportunity for Trump to like be presidential, bring it back, unite yeah. the country, all this and that. And then this, he cannot nope. help himself. <laughs> nope. He was like, I'm going to be the unifier of this country. The Democrats are eating children and drinking their blood, adrenochrome. <laughs> and you're like, okay, and there it goes. <laughs> like, there they're sacrificing is. children, uh, adrenochrome, they're drinking their adrenochrome, and they're like, oh, God. <laughs> but but it was so funny because I, um, you know, I don't know if I told you, but my son is a, a huge Trump supporter, and I have yeah, no problem his, with that. Yeah, because his stepdad. <laughs> I, or, or it's a cool thing to do, who knows. Um, yeah. But, you know, like, I, for, for my son, I sat down, and I was like, okay, because the way things were going, Trump was Trump had a landslide. It was gonna be he's gonna be the president. So I'm like, all right, let's let's see what he's gonna set us up for for the next four years or the next 35 years because he's gonna be king, right? So I was like, okay, I'm gonna hear him out. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna be good, and then I'm just like, holy shit, uh, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. So, yeah, I mean, like, well, there's a reason why. J.D. Vance called him uh, a cynical asshole, might be America's Hitler. What were the other ones he said? Um, I'm a never Trumper. I've never yeah. been a fan of Trump. Um, he said Trump's um, 
might be the most dangerous pick is somebody who would uh, double down on Trump, said if you voted for Trump, you're an idiot. Um, there's a laundry list that anybody could go see it come right out of his mouth um, yeah. of how bad he said Trump was. And then the moment he's like, oh, wait, I could ride the coattails of this guy to hope that propel my political career. He yeah. said, eggplant, meat, mouth. <laughs> I guess so you know it, it, it's happened a couple of times, right? We've seen Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley, like three, two, three months ago, said that he was, you know, oh, my, you know what? I'm gonna get on. A, I'm gonna get on a tangent yeah. here because um, I, I never thought that Nikki Haley would get back on the train because of what Trump said about uh, his Trump train. Yeah, yeah, like she, she's like Trump essentially was like, I don't know where. Or we don't know where Nikki Haley's husband is or whatever when he's actually deployed, right? And then so yeah, I yeah. thought I thought that she would at least like, all right, I'm done messing with Trump. But then she was right at the RNC, uh, eggplant oh, yeah. in mouth, doing her thing. And it's it's really sad. And I don't know if you also saw um was the Kevin McCarthy um interview on CNN when Matt Gates was coming coming in and uh, telling him he was a horrible person or he's not on the stage. Oh, he's, when he's heckling him? Yeah. 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 But yeah. the response the response from Kevin was the only thing that was heard on CNN, right? Yeah. And it was basically stating that, you know, we have we have members that are under investigation for <laughs> soliciting 17-year-olds. So they didn't really, oh, yeah. they didn't hear what Matt Gates was saying. They heard a little bit of it. But yeah, like yeah. the mic was in Kevin's face, so they heard that part of it. Oh yeah. And I'm watching I mean, this. He, yeah. I'm watching this lying. live, I mean, and I'm just like, "What is? What are we doing? This is crazy." Yeah, I mean, he's not lying. There's a reason why the hashtag Pedo Gates hashtag yeah. that Pedo yeah, Gates. And, and if you guys go, Matt. if you guys go on our our YouTube, which I hope that you do, um, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. But Matt Gates was looking kind of crazy. Um, not really sure what kind of Botox he's getting, but he doesn't look the same. So, anyway, I, I well, know he's I also his Botox. his dad's. I think his dad's worth like, oh gosh, what is it like? Some couple of billion dollars. I know it's some. It's a lot. Um, yeah. So he came from um, you know money. Um, also, you have like, I mean, the guy that he was Venmoing. For these women that were coming across state lines, which that's where the violation happened, because in many states, believe it or not, your um, uh, the age of consent, a lot of them are like 16, 17, some are even younger than that. Yeah. Um, and so um, where they violated the law was federally, it's 18. So when you bring somebody across the state for sex work, right, and they're 17 or under um you're in violation of the federal was law. And so was that's what, and matt gates in congress when this went down or is this prior to it was this is something that was going on um uh during and i think before too and yeah. so he venmoed this guy and it was clearly like the exact dollar amounts all the stuff that and that guy himself admitted to the crime and he's in i believe he's already been convicted and then Matt Gates has been using, and sorry, his dad's, uh, by the way, 30 million. I think I said 33 million. Yeah, I looked it up, yeah. which is still a lot of fucking money, guys. That's so if you don't money, think that, and, and you have power in the state that you're yeah. in. Um, so if you don't think that that's, you know, this is again, and guys, not to like necessarily tangent, but this is why we have the views that we have about explaining why when when some of these people are finally brought to justice, why people are cheering. And yes, of course, the New York district going after Trump has got some political um, motivation. Of course, they don't like him. But when you are violating laws, you should be held to account regardless. Right. Even if the reasoning that they came after you now versus prior is because now you're trying to grasp at more power. Okay. I mean, like, again, if I don't want to be 
attacked for anything that I've done in the past, right? When I try to run for president, let's just say, or governor of my state, the answer to that question, right? Or the answer to that problem was like, well, you shouldn't have done that previously. So like, well, you can't come back now and go like, oh my God. So now you guys are going to hold me to account for like, you know, raping young girls when they're 13 years old. Yes, dude. Because you were never ahead to account then doesn't mean you don't be held to account now. I wish they would hold them to account when it first happens. Yes. But like the argument is like, well, then don't do these things in the first place and you won't ever be held to account. Like if I ran for president, I can guarantee you there is not a woman, young child, whatever it is on this planet Earth, who's going to be able to pass a polygraph test, let alone two of them, that I held her down, tied her to a bed and raped her with my friend. That's just not going to happen. So when it all comes out, when you try to grasp at more power, I mean, my argument would be don't do it. Brett Kavanaugh, don't do what you did. You wouldn't be brought to a head when you grabbed more for more power. And again, I don't like it, but I'm just saying like, this is how these people all operate. When Nikki Haley starts endorsing Trump and J.D. Vance, who said tons of things about Trump, starts all of a sudden endorsing Trump. It's like, well, how can you go and look at these people as honest actors? You know what I mean? This is why like Eminem shit on uh, Candace Owens, a.k.a. Um, what did he call her? Uh, oh, my God. What a great line. He called her. Um, uh, oh, my gosh. Anyway, I'll think it. So yeah. my my personal <laughs> my personal feelings is that Trump is are is running for president again because there's a real chance of him going to prison. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't I don't I don't necessarily believe or I don't necessarily think that actually I know that there's a lot of things that he's going to do. Like there there's no doubt about that. But his main priority and focus is to get into office to make all of these things go away. And I do agree with you when you say that, to your point, it is politically motivated in, in a way. But at yeah. the end of the day, like, if you're not doing these things... Um, there's nothing even, to go after you for. <laughs> there's nothing to go after you for. So, like, even, like, like Matt Gates, he was, you know, speaking at the RNC and talking about the, the Democrat that with the gold bars or whatever, you know, they're justice is happening right and like the problem that i have with this whole thing is they are essentially like degrading our justice system you know what i mean when when they're held yeah. to account so i i I'm, I'm curious to see what goes on with this now um but we'll see yeah like and like i said i agree i don't like that they're doing it again my view on it would be I would want them to go after these people, powerful or wealthy or not, for the crimes that they're committing when they happen, mm -hmm. just like they would go after you or me if we did these things. So my my complaint is, yes, Matt Gates should be held to account because the guy he was Venmoing, who was bringing the girls in, he was. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump should be held to account because the guy he was paying off to do this shit and, and bring the girls in, Jeffrey Epstein, yes, he wasn't held to account in the day of court, but they put a guy in his cell who was an ex-cop who was uh, killed three or four people who, be who was a narcotics officer who became dirty. And when he was about to get turned in, fuck, killed three or four people. Anybody can go look this up. And they just randomly chose that guy who looks like the white Dwayne Johnson to be Jeffrey Epstein's cellmate. And the bone that was crushed in Jeffrey Epstein's throat does not happen when you hang yourself because it's down here. So yeah. this has been like proven I mean, left and right. There, there's and so no he doubt was about that. Like there's yeah, this, so he, yeah, he was choked out. That, I mean, so there was there was there was there was so many politicians right that were yeah. involved with Epstein that like I think the yeah. pressure was on Epstein and it, the word got out that I this think, guy needs to go. Yeah, I think I mean we know this shit went deep. We know this probably is like a lot of famous men who have a lot of money coming from around the world, Saudi princes, the Prince William. I mean. Anyway, and guys, like I said, we're not here to talk about that. But the point is, like, we know that he was held to account, even though it was unjustly held to account, but he was choked out in his jail cell. We've seen anybody, uh, uh, Julian Assange, um, Edward Snowden, uh, what's your name that 
any of these people, the the two whistleblowers from the Boeing thing recently, a mm. gunshot wound and a sickness. I mean, come on. Like we I know, know. I feel like this, I'm in Russia now or something. Like, dude, this is what's now. happening. And so what the Supreme Court did, your reference to Russia, what the Supreme Court just did, which we talked about on the last podcast the other day, guys, go check it out. But they gave literally the president, whether that's Trump, Biden, Kenny, oh, me, whomever, literally like you anointed a king. That was mm-hmm. not my words. That's another just Supreme Court justice words. Right. And, that. and so like, if you allow them to just operate under like, hey, I can do whatever I want because I'm a billionaire, a hundred millionaire, whatever. And then later somebody gets power who's on the other side of that political spectrum, whatever it is. And then they go after you. Again, I don't like that, but you reap what you sow a little bit, dude. Like if Trump gets in, let's just say, and he goes after 10 people who committed like major crimes and they find evidence and they find them guilty, sucks a suck nerd, uh, like you shouldn't have done it. If Nancy Pelosi or somebody else has done these things, I don't mind if they go after them. Again, I wish they would have went after them when they did the crime and not when they're trying to do politically. But if you committed these horrible crimes or business crimes or whatever it is, sorry for you, dude. Like, don't commit the crime. If you're insider trading and you get caught, guess what? You're going to jail. That's Sorry, stop saying like, stop crying me a river later because you got caught committing a crime. Uh, I mean, this is why J.D. Vance, uh, one of the ones I forgot to say, said he can't stomach Trump. The other one that I found here that I want to say real quick um was fellow christians everyone is watching us when we apologize for this man so what are people what are their actual values when they say they vote based upon their their values trump meets none of those based upon almost i would say 90 percent of republicans he so doesn't me, meet their values let me, let me just ask you a question um so We've had politicians, let's just say with Biden and Trump, right? Biden talks about religion a lot. Yeah. Trump talks about religion a lot. Um, what draws those legacy religious people to Trump more than they would to Biden? I, uh, I, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can speak to that because I don't necessarily understand it. Because if you think about it, he goes against everything that they hold holy. Um, yeah. Everything that he's done, everything that he's a part of, everything that he's said, you would think a a really religious person, you know, Christian, Catholic, or whatever, wouldn't tolerate someone like that. But I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think that I don't think that I can I can understand it. I honestly don't. Yeah, I mean, I think what, um, and this goes for both parties, guys. And I, and I think, truly, if I had to put a percentage on it, I don't know. Do I think it's seventy percent Republicans that are this way and fifty percent Democrats? I don't know. But the percentage I'm giving people on is it like they will vote like Republican or Democrat, no matter what. Mm -hmm. And it's what is causing the problems in this country. Because if I ask somebody, what are your like top five things? And then I show you a candidate that meets those top five things. And then I say, oh, but he's got this jersey that you don't like, you know, the other team's jersey. And you go, oh, I I won't vote for that person. I, I mean, that's where why we're in this mess is because, I mean, you can't be more of a hypocrite If you're doing that. And I think that a lot of the people, like I said, to answer your question in a short form, that's it. I think that like they will vote. And there's people like I've been calling them blue MAGA now. There's people that are doing the same thing with Biden. I mean, I have a cousin I love dearly. She's educated. um, And I let her call her blue MAGA the other day. And we're fine. I just was like, don't be like them and be like, Biden can't do nothing wrong. He's well, not yeah, old. The dude's, like, the dude's literally there's, like there's, there's people on there's people on Twitter that <laughs> you know or X that I've seen that it's Twitter. Is that yeah, Twitter. Clown. Like His I'm ex just bullshit. saying that like after <laughs> they 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 won't hold Biden accountable to anything. 
And then yeah. they, after that debate with him and Trump, they were like, well, he was tired. He was, he was yeah. running the world. He was sick. And, he was sick. and I was like, yeah. dude, that was the, that was the worst debate in American history by yeah. both candidates, but mo- more importantly, by our current president. And that was the debate that was supposed to have us stick a line in the sand and say, hey, okay, I'm rocking with this dude or I'm rock- rocking with this dude. And both of them suck. But Biden sucked. Yeah. Bad that night. And well, and like I said, it, go out, yeah. for people to go out and say, you know, I'm hold these people accountable a little bit. Yeah. Like, oh, I, I do. I don't, I, yeah. well, I'm just saying, I'm talking to like, yeah, you know, everybody you know, watching this. You know what yeah, I, mean? like, I just don't understand how you can pledge your allegiance to one person and that person could do no wrong. I just have no, I, yeah. I will never be a follower. Ever. Like, I love you dearly. Like, we're really good friends. Like, dearly, dearly, dearly. And I think the same sentiment would be said to me. If you went and brutally murdered or did something, raped and brutally murdered, like, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> like, right. I'm not going to come see you in jail. I'm not right. going to come put money on your picks and be like, Oh, Kenny just made a mistake. Oh, I'm like, dude, you did what? Yeah, lose my fucking number. And you do the same to me. And that's because you should not, like you said, have this blind loyalty to anybody. I love my children through and through. I love my kids. You do too. I assure you, if my son or daughter did something, you know, barbaric and like horrible, I literally be like, listen, I I will love you as your father forever, but I'll never speak to you. I mean, I just... I know that'd be hard to say. And I know a lot of us go, I don't know. You probably would still talk to your kid, but I'm just explaining that like, that's my kid. Maybe I would, but like a politician who I don't even fucking know. That's not one thing for you. Sorry, bro. (laughs) I don't care if he, I don't care if he sent you a thousand dollar check last week. Like, sorry, dude. I do not have blind loyalty to anybody. Yeah. And I'm just, you know, I'm just really glad that uh, I don't have to wake up and go to my black job tomorrow too. So it's just, yeah it's yeah guys i like i said and this is why we do this guys is because you have we will never see things change in this country and it's and when i say change i mean change for the better it will change worse and worse and worse and worse if we keep going i mean the way that we're going everyone's heard the the cliche shit of like oh if you keep doing the same things over and over and expecting different results that's insanity but it's so true if you really adopt that thought process and go, okay, we're letting billionaires pay off politicians. Politicians are doing their bidding. Let's elect another guy who's a billionaire or a guy who takes money from that billionaire right. and then expect what? Something to change? Hello, so McFly. I was, talking, yeah, I was <laughs> talking to someone the other day and I was just kind of voicing my opinion on both both sides and that it sucks right now for either side, right? And then they're, because they're Republicans, they're like, well, why don't you do something? I'm like, why, why don't I do something about it? Like, what, what, why do I have to run for office? Why do I have to do, I don't want to be a politician. I never wanted to grow up to be a politician. Why is it that I have to do something to have these people act right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just, you know, I think that I probably would be a good politician. But is that something that I want to do? No, I make great money right now. So they don't make that they don't make good money. So I'm just saying, like, you know, um, I don't understand like why like why did why do I have to be sitting back and, and, and trying to make these people just act like normal adults, like in yeah. the room. You know, this is why we're we doing this, do, guys. <laughs> yeah, all we want right. I told them let's fuck us. I do try to But like yeah. All we're trying to do is get people in there that actually care about running the country, that do not yes. care about just money and greed and what they can do next. Yes. But anybody yes. in in that political arena today is only concerned about themselves or their next YouTube clip or at Twitter clip or whatever to draw their people into whatever they're talking about. Right, like yeah. there's no action yeah. going on. There's no, there's yeah. no legislating going on. It's just a complete mess. And yeah. I think it's funny that every single time you know Donald Trump talks about um, the country being in disarray, but he refuses to do anything about it. 
right? When Biden was trying to get the border closed, he was telling the Republicans, you better not vote on any of that. You better vote no on all of that, right? So do you really care about who's pouring in? And then you have Biden on the other side that is literally letting millions of people pour into the country just to prove a point to the Republicans. So I'm just yeah. like, <laughs> because like, yeah. he could do something. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and, 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 and they don't, and like I said, guys, you have to think deeper. And this is why we do this podcast because the, there's levels to this shit. When people go, oh, they're just letting people in for no reason. No, there's a reason. They're trying to drive down the cost of labor, right? So that they can literally have a financial slave, like force of labor. That's what they want. But if you think that it's the Democrats who are doing it and not the Republicans or the Republicans and not the Democrats, I have a bridge to a timeshare I'd like to sell you because you're a dipshit. Like flat out, you are ignorant. You're not understanding. These these companies give money to both parties. Go one one day, actually, maybe the next podcast, we'll do a thing on, um, on opensecrets.org. Great site. You can look up any company. You'll see how much money. This is what they do. They, they pour into each um, political, like, like, oh, Amazon gave this much money to Democrats, this much to Republicans. It will make your mind go, because you'll realize, oh, shit, they're paying off both sides. There's a lot of times where, yes, maybe it's 300,000 of Democrats, 200,000 of Republicans. Well, you got to look at, like, where their businesses are at. In California, New York, there's more people to pay off there. Oh, right. that's why. It's not because they're like, we want more liberal policies. No. These companies are corporatist. They are they're about like their company making money. That's what they're about, right? So if there's more people to pay off in Florida and my businesses, let's just say it's I have a lot of hotels and, and beaches. Well, maybe I have a lot more in Florida than I do in uh Colorado, right? Maybe I have some hotels in Colorado, but I have a lot in Florida. Well, it's likely that I'm gonna have to give let's say a hundred thousand to people in Colorado to make sure they do my bidding for me. Maybe in Florida, it's 300,000, but I still might've given each politician 50 K. I just had to pay off more of them in Florida. You guys see what I'm saying? So the point is when you look at opensecrets.org, it shows you all this. We don't care. At least I know I don't I believe Kenny doesn't either. Whether somebody's Christian, Muslim, Hindu, uh, uh, secular, Jewish, um, if they believe in uh, Satanism, I don't care. But what I do care about is, were they working class? If they're worth a couple million now because they built a business, great, awesome. Did they grow up working class? Um, are they going to do policies that are going to be based upon the 95% of us? Uh, th like those types of things. Um, are they taking money from from uh, billionaires? Those are right. huge things to me um, that I bet you most people in this country, most, 90% of them, maybe not 90, but a lot of them, would probably say, I'm good with that. I agree with, with those problems too. You know what I mean? Like, um, and so, yeah, dude, I mean, like, that's just one of those things that, that, you so, know. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. Um, but one thing, one thing that I will say, and I know that you agree. Um, yeah, yeah. You and I re will refuse to give up on this country. And that's why we're doing yeah. this podcast. And that's why, we're trying to get the message out. And yep. I know, again, I know there's going to be people that are watching this podcast that I've been in the comments with. Um, and when I'm in the comments with you, I'm just literally asking you to give me like some sort of evidence, some sort of truth to what you're saying, instead of you just coming at me and saying that I suck and I'm stupid, right? Yeah. Because I work based upon facts, not crazy. feelings. Yeah. <laughs> you know and saying? again, like I said, guys, prove like I like information because the more information I have, the better chance I have of making informed decisions. So if somebody come and showed me like, oh, my God, here's this policy that this person from. Hey, listen, like I OK, I might like that. But again, yeah. you can't run somebody down my throat who I'm like was born to one of the wealthiest people in the country, given four hundred twelve million dollars by their dad. Right. You also can't run somebody down my throat whose last name is Kennedy. I don't give a fuck. That's one of the most elitist names in all of politics. And then you're also not going to run somebody down my throat who takes money from Kennedys and Trumps or people like them. And I'm sure literally Biden has taken money 
from Trump organizations and probably the Kennedys at some point. Sure. So I can't, you can't make me gargle those nuts of either one of those guys and then say, come on, dude, you're the crazy one who doesn't want to jump on the bandwagon of this. It's like, dude, no, I'm yeah. going based upon my, my four or five things that I've laid out all the time and they don't meet any of them right. born rich or takes rich or money from rich people. Nope. Doesn't work. Um, uh, like I said, uh, well, takes money. Um, I mean, it's like, those are huge things, guys. Like, um, part of the elite class. I mean, like I said, famous elite, whatever it is, I, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't vibe with that. You know what I mean? Like, so I then that, you add in like all this other crazy shit they do. No way. Yeah. You so know? I think that we only have a couple more minutes, but I think that the, yeah, moral, yeah, yeah. Of this, the moral of this story is, um, or the way I feel at least is that we need an injection of new blood. And what scares me is the new blood on both parties are both crazy. Like, yeah, they're both radical. And I, I love how you mentioned the blue magic. Um, because I've seen it a lot lately. It's out of control. And it's like, and I'll even talk about this on the next podcast about, you know, how I feel about gender and kids and all yeah, yeah. of those things. I think that we're getting out of control a little bit, a lot of it um, on the yeah. left um, as well. Yeah. So we have to hold them accountable. The right oh, is just yeah. scary. <laughs> it's so, so when I, uh, and I'll wrap this up. So when I talk about, when I talk about, I want a, an infusion of youth into, poli in, into the politics arena, what we see in the youth is pretty damn scary. So we have a long yeah. road ahead of us. We really do. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, it, I totally agree, man. And like I said, and the new blood real quickly, that it is actually good on either side. The ones that actually are probably going to do something to change, watch how they get attacked from both sides. Like, watch how, like, whoever it is, just pay attention, guys and gals, how if somebody comes along who literally is those things that I was talking about, working class, has these right views, yada, 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 they'll be attacked by both media channels. Like, both, yeah. both, they will, because they know, oh, they can't let this person in power. We need to own you or be owned or, like, and they know that if you're not, you are not yeah. what they want. Well, much love, y'all. Yeah, much love, guys. Um, don't, for, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channels and uh, Instagram, all that good stuff. Um, hit the notification button as well so you know when we're going to be coming out with videos. We're going to be doing this a lot. Um, Wes, thank you so much, my guy. <laughs> um, we will talk to you all soon. Peace.